first off, congratulations on The Unforgivable. I just watched it. It's so emotional, so heart-wrenching. Um, Rob, can you tell me about your character and the role that he plays in Sandra's character, Ruth's life? Vincent Cross uh, plays Sandra Bullock's character, Ruth Slater's PO, parole officer. Uh, it was the male voice in the film that was the guiding uh, light for her to essentially not go back to prison and essentially try to maximize her second chance uh, at being released out into society along with all the social stigma that was coming along from the other characters in the movie. Uh, I felt that uh, I had a thin line to play of being firm, uh, yet uh, giving of the necessary information without becoming too emotionally attached, because that can oftentimes from my research trigger uh, any kind of uh, situation with my client, and then that could potentially get them back in prison, which we don't want. And Sandra, you did such a wonderful job of making us care about someone who had done something that many would deem unforgivable. Um, so to play that role, was there anything that you took from your own life and personal experience that you brought to this character? I mean, many, many layers to that question. I, I you know, I'm, I'm a mom and I'm fiercely protective over the most beautiful human beings I know. Um, I also know that once they leave my house, I can't protect them. And I imagine what it might be like for them. So that evokes all kinds of emotion. Um, having been through the foster care system and having had to learn so much that I didn't know and how naive and ignorant I was to um, a system of poverty, a system of resources that were non-existent, a system that didn't see um, these beautiful souls that were born as anything that of value um, was heartbreaking, and then I, I take on this this story with that insight, and I get to meet the extraordinary souls that were incarcerated that shared so truthfully their journeys with me, a lot of private information. I got to meet these beautiful women who were released in their struggles to find hope every day when they, they had not had hope from the day that they were born. So you realize that most everyone in the world, 80% of the, the world is born into poverty. And how do you do the right thing? How do you make those sacrifices every day for those people that you love um, and still do it with an open heart and a hopeful heart? Um, it's love. And we don't make stories about those people. And it made me so um, uh, scared and yet determined to represent those, um, I think Rob says it so beautifully, those, those voices that no one ever hears about, those voices that are unheard finally get their time in, in a story this, to, to show what the truth is, not how we judge them, not for the end result, but for how things started for them. Absolutely, and if there is just one thing that you would like the audience to leave with, what would that be? That very last moment in the film, yep. Very last moment. Everything has two sides. Every person's journey has two sides. We judge, we can't help it. Doesn't make you a bad person. But if you don't listen and you don't take the time to dig and ask questions and learn, that's, that's your fault. But the very last moment in the film, and I think especially after a pandemic, if we could reach that moment for ourselves, um, to me, it was, as Rob said, that hope. How do you find hope when, when the world isn't really giving you any? Hi, Vincent. Hi, Kayla. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? Good. I feel like you've been very busy. I just saw you a few weeks ago on the red carpet for Tammy Faye. You did an amazing job in that. Exactly. And you did an amazing job in The Unforgivable as well. Um, your character has so much compassion. And what was it about this character and this script that really made you want to tell this story? Well, I, I thought the script was really good. I mean, it has a great twist in it and and that was always good. I didn't see that coming when I was reading it and and also it's a it's a movie that has a lot of substance you know that the idea of being able to do a movie that's a kind of a thriller but has actual substance like real humanity in it is you know it's rare and so you know that's what interested me in the in the in the project and trying to you know to come help service the story for that and I thought it was it's a, a good combination and you star opposite Viola Davis as your wife. Um, what was it like having Viola as an acting partner? Well, I, I'm sure 
everybody says this, but she's like, she's phenomenal. You know, uh, like there's no way to get around it. She's just phenomenal. She's just an extraordinary talent. And and it was it was nice that we to figure it out. You know, like we had to achieve a few things. One of them was that our we we had to establish for the audience that our characters had a very strong allegiance and that that we were truly connected as husband and wife and as people. And yet we disagreed about a particular subject and um, early on, which Sandra brings into our lives. And, and, and so that was really important that the audience understood that, that, that we had an allegiance no matter what we disagreed about this in this one thing. So that was, that was fun to be able to, to achieve that with her. She's, we talked about it and texted about it when we were, we were in quarantine for, a couple of weeks when we came back because we started the film and then we had shut down then we went back to Canada again. Um, so we were all in quarantine for two weeks and during that two weeks we were texting back and forth and trying to figure out, um, you know, the, the actual approach because we both knew it was important what, what I what I just spoke about that particular thing. So yeah, it, it, that was, she was extraordinary. She's a very smart actress and she just brings it and she's, you know, it makes makes my job easy good congratulations on the unforgivable i just finished finished watching it and it was incredible thank you so why did you want to tell this specific story because i think it's so important to shine a light on people that you usually wouldn't see you know people i tend to love stories about outsiders at the margins of society and it's also a story about unconditional love about family you know second chances what would you do it's so rich and there's so much in it. I just, yeah. And what was the process like for you from it getting on the page to filming to finally now having it almost premiere? Well, that, that's a, a question that, you know, going through all those stages would take a long time, but in short, it was a roller coaster. It was an incredible journey. It was not just working the first time in English language, working with, you know, movie stars and incredibly talented and experienced cast, but also, you know, behind the camera, it was just Im amazing. And then we had to deal with COVID, you know, we had to shut down because of COVID and figure out how do we film the second half of the film. And um, it was an, an incredible learning experience that will accompany me for many years to come. Woo! <laughs>